Namaste. This is Dr. Rajesh Mishra from Dr. Mishra Academy. Today we are discussing about the yoga for the cancer. Yoga means the unity of unity, integrity of the body, mind, emotions, spirit. Yoga gives the holistic concept of the life. It's not only the body or mind, but it's the holistic approach of the lifestyle. So yoga helps for the cancer persons to improve their quality of life, to fight against the cancer, to overcome, to win their problems. And that's why yoga is very effective for the cancer patient. First practice is Bant Hast Uthanasana. Bring your hands front, both wrist on each other. This is starting position, back straight. So while breathing in, you will lift arms to the upward face upward and feel your chest, your shoulder, and while breathing out, arms by the side. Slowly become aware of the movement of shoulder and your breathing while breathing in, palm upward facing and then come up, same arms up fully straight and while breathing out front. So this is a one round. So you can practice three to five but practice here at three rounds. This is very good for the shoulder, very good for the breathing. It releases the stress from the shoulder. It improves the breathing capacity, bring the cool, calm. And while this one, you can focus in the center of your chest, which is the Anahata Chakra. Be aware of the breathing movement. Once you are fully sure that everything is all right, then you can close your eyes and you can do with closed eyes with more focus. And after three rounds, just relax. Arms by the side of the body. Feel the breathing. Feel the effect of this asana. Awareness of your thoughts. And please open your eyes. Our next practice is Vibrit Karni Asana, Inverted Asana, lying on the floor, back straight, head straight, palm on the floor. Now the starting position, slowly you will lift up your leg, your buttock and your back will be in 45 degree. Your leg is straight. Toes stretch upward and in this position you can hold your back, you can focus on the breathing, announce, bend your knee and vertebra by vertebra you are coming on the floor. And slowly. Once more. And in final position, you can hold five to seven breathing. Breathing in and out is one breathing, so you can hold five to seven breathing. So, second round, please. Vibrit Karni Asana is inverted asana. It increased the Flow of blood is very good for the lungs, heart, face, brain. Vipit Karni Asana is very good for Vishuddhi Chakra. In this position, you can do the long and deep breathing as Ujjayi breathing. 
and once you feel the dizziness, pain in your neck, slowly you can come back. Then don't hold. And now I can bend your knee and then vertebra by vertebra lie down on the back, lie down on the floor, stretch your legs, keep your eyes close, feel the breathing, become aware of your thoughts. And now, please open your eyes. So, Virasana, if someone has a knee problem, arthritis problem, they should avoid that they can do the variation with the help of the kissan. You can sit on the kissan instead of sitting on the foot. But keep your back is straight. Virasana is very good for the knee strength and for the blood circulation. Virasana is a philosopher practice. If you want to be a philosopher, you can practice this one. While the practicing, you can focus on Swadhisthan Chakra and Ajna Chakra. The main is Swadhisthan. After two rounds, keep your eyes closed and be aware how you are feeling. Try to be aware of your body, breath, your thoughts. And gently open your eyes. Pranayama means expansion of prana life force. So in pranayama you can sit in any comfortable meditation position. If you cannot sit in any meditative position you can sit on the chair. But the most important you can keep your back straight, head straight and whole body relax. Close your eyes, close your lips and just relax. First pranayama is Nadi Shodhan pranayama. So bend your right elbow, thumb on right nostril, second and third finger to the forehead ring finger of the left nostril. So this is Nasika Agar Mudra. Fifth finger is free. So breathing in through the left and out through the right, close your another nostril, again in through the right, in through the right and out through the left. This is the one round, so you can practice 5 to 10 rounds generally, but here only 3 to 5 rounds, breathing in and out, rhythmic breathing, long and deep breathing. So Nadi Shodhan Pranayama is very good to balance the both hemisphere, bring the cool, calm, while breathing in and out, you can be aware of the length of the breath, slow, no sound, and little smile. And after This round, hands on the knee, keep your eyes close, just relax. When you finish this round, hands on the knees, keep your eyes close and try to feel, be aware how you are feeling and gently open your eyes. Next pranayama is Brahmri pranayama. Brahmri pranayama is for bringing in coolness in the mind, calmness in the mind. So, first breathing in, 
while breathing out you will make the like humming like the bee sound breathing in and while breathing out make like the bee and pluck your ear again breathing in so do seven rounds After seven rounds, hands on the knees. Brahmi Pranayama. Bring the calmness in the mind. Hands on the knee. After seven rounds, keep your eyes closed. Brahmi Pranayama is good for sleep regulation, good for memory, concentration. Now it's time for Yoga Nidra. Please get ready for Yoga Nidra. You are lying on the floor, palm upward facing feet apart about shoulder level your back is straight head is straight your eyes and lips are gently closed just try to forget your all cares worries for next 20 to 30 minutes Yoga Nidra is the practice of Pratyahara. In this practice, you only listen and mentally you relax. Thank you for watching our video. If you like, please write comments and share. Thank you. Namaste.